One of my favorite sayings is every day is Thanksgiving though. And um, I mean that with all my heart. I mean, we should be thankful every day. I'm thankful that for some reason there's a camera in front of me while I make a sandwich. Hey, I'm Loren, back in the building. We have another episode of Fridge Diving. Right now, we're gonna make one of my favorite things, something near and dear to my heart, a Thanksgiving sandwich. And it's basically flipping the best part of Thanksgiving leftovers and making an incredible sandwich out of it. So, last night I prepared some turkey legs, some turkey wings. Actually, I'm lying. My mother prepared some turkey wings. So here's the star of the show. My mother's turkey wings, there's really no comparison. There's nothing in the world better than this. Family recipe, garlic powder, onion powder, ginger, a splash of curry, salt, pepper, and a few secret ingredients I can't tell you because then you won't buy the book when the book comes out, if a book comes out. So what we're gonna do is really just um, take a fork, put it in this nice glass pan. Well, glass structure, it's not really a pan. We're gonna heat this up. As much as I like to use just a fork, we need a spoon to um, scoop some of this gravy up. It's gonna be a thing of beauty in about 20 minutes. I thought this was on, I swear I had it preheated. So right now, while we have that turkey warming up, we're gonna make a dressing of sorts. Got some fresh celery, some onions. We got a bunch of things, but all we really need for this is celery and onions. Celery's amazing, celery's underrated. Help you alkalize your body, get your pH levels right. I think. I like people to watch this and then Google after. If I don't make you Google when you finish an episode, I didn't do my job. A lot of people cut the tips off. I actually like the tips. Call it a red onion, but this is more of like a beautiful burgundy or a purple. Like right here, this would be a beautiful sneaker. Like, if this was a colorway, that would be fire. Sounds strange, but if your cutting board doesn't look like something that would look good on your foot, it's probably not it. I mean, you know what I'm about. I can't be next to garlic and not use it, so. A little olive oil, something light. So always, we add the garlic first. Like to soften it, brown it slightly, you know? We're gonna drop in our celery and onion. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it cook down a bit. We're gonna let it, um, Get to a level right right before caramelization. Now we're gonna go to the spice rack. Oh, splash of curry powder. Rosemary. You can't spell Thanksgiving without rosemary. Cayenne. Couple thyme leaves. Splash of garlic powder. Yeah, cooking down. Getting to where it needs to go. We have a secret ingredient. We're gonna splash some chicken broth in here. Even though it's turkey, we're gonna splash a little chicken broth. It'll help it cook down better, you know? Give it that flavor that I'm yearning for. Let's check on these wings. Oh man. You see that? This is a, this is a thing of beauty. Heat these up a little more, and um, then we're gonna start taking them apart. Time to heat this stuffing. You can use any kind of stuffing you like. Personally, I like a cornbread stuffing. That's what tickles my fancy. Place these here. Heat this up. Kind of falls apart on its own, but we're just gonna... Look at that, right off the bone. I hardly had to do any work. This is what we want. Right off the bone. Oh, that's hot. What a fortunate little loaf you are. See, the stuffing's dry, so when you put something so dry directly on bread, you need things like this and our hidden star, cranberry sauce. Yeah, this is perfect, because there's still a little crunch to the celery, but you know, it's, it's, it's cooked down. Applying a little olive oil to the bread. Still got a little of this Irish butter left. Just put it like that in chunks, it'll melt. One of my favorite sayings is every day is Thanksgiving, though, and um, I mean that with all my heart. I mean. We should be thankful every day. I'm thankful that for some reason there's a camera in front of me while I make a sandwich. It's crazy, I feel sad that it's about to end. We're at the final phases, I'm gonna apply the turkey directly to the bread. The key to any good sandwich is layering. 
Turkey first. Turkey directly to the bread. Now, if I was to serve the sandwich just like this, it would be fire. But it gets a little deeper. The oven is going crazy, right? Damn. You know it's lit when the alarm is going off. When I'm in here, I get it shaking, you heard? Like I said, it's all about layering. So the first layer, turkey, wet. Then we go dry, stuffing. Now we're about to moisten things up again. <laughs> and for our last layer, we're gonna um, get another spoon. Some cranberry. Now you have no idea how liberating it is to throw spoons in the kitchen. This shit feels amazing. I prefer a chunky cranberry with little pieces of cranberry in it. And we're gonna use this as a spread for the top layer of bread. Bong. Bong. Gonna evenly spread that over the top. You have beauty shots of this? Cause this is damn sure beautiful, Jack. Now zoom. Mm-hmm, ah. Damn, that looks good. That took some skill right there. The more that falls out, the better. It just decorates, you know? We're gonna cut all the way through this time. I'm at a loss of words. Thanksgiving indeed. This is the Thanksgiving sandwich, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like a pilgrim with a mouthful of foliage. Here we go, another episode of Fridge Diving with Mayhem the Wren. Thanksgiving edition. Happy Thanksgiving. Remember, every day is Thanksgiving, so on Thanksgiving, tell your neighbor happy every day. Do you want to get close-ups like this? Let me see how close you are. Let me see how close he is. 